right, guys, we're going to do a short lesson on dividing decimals. Um, if I'm dividing a decimal by a whole number, a decimal by a whole number, as long as you all can divide whole numbers, um, this should be pretty easy for you. All you're going to do is just be bringing up the decimal. Now, once we get started with um, dividing a decimal by a decimal, that's a different story. Um, so let's just do a couple of examples. Let me show you. So when you divide by a decimal, first thing is you're just going to kind of forget about that decimal point until the very end, just like when we were multiplying. You forget about it until the end. Um, so let's just get started. So 6 goes into 3. It cannot. So either you're going to fill that spot with a 0 or just remind yourself that the next time you're going to go over because your placement of your numbers up here is incredibly important so that you get the correct answer. All right, so 6 goes into 32 five times. Remember, I'm forgetting about that decimal. 6 goes into 24 four times. No remainder. So and now I'm going to bring my decimal straight up. So do you see why it's so important that of my placement of my numbers up here? Because of the placement on my decimal is important. All right, let's go to the next one. 5 goes into 6 one time. Um, there's one left over. Bring down my next number. 5 goes into 13 two times. That's 10. Bring down the next number. 5 goes into 36 seven times. That's 35. All right, so here's my problem here. My next number to bring down. Well, what is that next number? Because I don't want to just say remainder 1 because we're, we're dealing with decimals. So the next number to bring down, that is actually a 0. And adding a 0 at the end of my number does not change the value at all. So now I'm going to bring down the next number. So 2 goes in... Sorry, 5 goes into 10 two times. Now I have nothing left, so I'm ready to bring my decimal straight up. Okay? So sometimes you might need to add zeros. Remember, if I have a number, if I add zeros after it, it does not change that number at all. Okay? If I added a zero before it, obviously that would change the number a lot. Okay? But after the decimal, it does not change the number. All right, let's do another example. I'm going to do this one over here. I'll do it for you, and then you can do the other three. All right, eight goes, five goes into eight one time. Five goes into 34 six times. Bring down my next number. And five goes into nine, 45 nine times. No remainder. No, no need to bring a number down just to bring my decimal straight up. Okay? All right, why don't you try these three numbers right here, these three, pause the video, and come back and check your work. All right, so go ahead and check your answers. Notice for the second one there, I needed to add a zero. Okay, check your answers. If you get the problem wrong, make sure that you're looking at the process down here. If you get something wrong, go back and check and figure out where, to, what step did you mess up on. Okay. All right, you have four problems. Oops, this one is, let me move this one over a little bit. All right, so you have four problems. Make sure you can see this one. All right, four problems. Um, go ahead and do these tonight for homework. I'm going to be looking for them. Um, I want to just draw your attention to this one right here. Four goes into seven. Um, Obviously, it's not going to go in. It's going to go in there more than once. If there is no decimal, remember the decimal is always at the end. So I'm going to have to add zeros here. Okay. So if there is no decimal on a whole number, it's always at the end. All right. Good luck with these four problems, and I'll talk to you about it tomorrow.